Hello everyone. Let us talk about edge lookup function today. For those who are familiar with VLOOKUP, it's pretty much the same thing, except that instead of uh, searching things vertically, we are now searching it horizontally. So I've prepared a sort of an Excel, uh, a sort of a template in which uh, I've put six products and I'm going to track their sales through three months, which is January, February, March. Ideally, when we use HLOOKUP, it's when we have huge chunk of data. We have just showed you six uh, six products, but normally you have these in the range of thousands. That is when HLOOKUP comes into the picture. So, uh, as of now, let's just fill some random numbers. I'll use the RAND between function and let's choose any value between 50 to 500. And we'll just fill the remaining values also. So, and let's just copy and paste it as values so that they don't move around later. Yeah. So we have our data ready. Now, in edge lookup, we'll have to look up based on the uh, single value. So uh, we can choose either product one or two. 3, 4, 5, 6, any, any of those products we can choose. So let's just, uh, uh, let's just put a drop down in the empty cell B10 which we have here. For putting a drop down, we'll just go to data validation and we'll add a list. So in the source, we can put product 1, product 6, we'll click enter and uh, we'll just color it that we know that this is our drop down. Now we will put edge lookup function over here for the month of January. So we will put equals edge lookup open parenthesis and you have the lookup value. Lookup value for us is this cell. So we will click this cell, we will put comma. Now in the table array, table array for us is the entire product 1 to product 6. So we we'll choose that entire table like this. Next is row index number. Now we are doing edge lookup for the month of January. So ideally we should choose row as two because January is the January values are second in terms of rows. The second row belongs to January in the entire table array. So we'll choose two. Now comes the part wherein we want an approximate match or an exact match. Now since we are searching for uh, text data over here, which you can see as January, ideally we should go ahead with an exact match. So we will select pause, we will press tab and this gets populated. Now this is coming as NA because we haven't yet selected any product over here. So if we select product 4. Based on this, our, a value of 279 should get, come over here and it comes. Now we can just drag and drop, uh, drag this function, uh, this function over here. For that, we need to first log these variables because we don't want them to change. So we'll click on the formula bar, we we'll press F4, and we we'll lock these three values. Now when we shift them over here the values won't change. For February, we have to make one minor change is that the row, the row index needs to be changed because February is the third row in the table array. Similarly, March is the fourth row. That is why we need to change it to fourth. And this is how H lookup works. Once we select product 5, the values of 71 424 and 395 should come populate uh, should populate over here and we can see that they are getting populated thank you for listening